Yes, sir. All right. I think it's funny you can see that window lit up. Lit up, lit up. Fuck that is. Anyways. <clears throat> Anyways. I need to talk a little shit. I need to talk a little shit. I'm looking for something in my, in my pocket. That's what this is. Oh, opposite pockets. I gotta remember that. There's a lesson there. What I was looking for is an opposite pockets. All right. This is what I want to talk about today. Actually, real shit, I want to talk about a couple things. <sighs> um, but what I primarily want to talk about is the distinction, i.e. the difference between physical and non-physical. Okay? Estoy bien pinched. Estoy bien. Estoy bien. I was going to get ignorant. I'm sorry. Axel McGee. How you doing, sir? Hit me with a little Espanol. Estoy bien pinche super. Eso. Anyway, anyway, this is what I want to get into. The difference between physical and non-physical, okay? Um, <clears throat> like listening um, to, one, to one of the guys I've been listening to a lot recently on Law, one of the distinctions he makes, which I had to, I had to reevaluate how much I actually knew it for a while, um, was the distinction between public and private when it comes to law. Okay. Um, and I, I always resonate to motherfuckers who do what I do in their field. All right. In my field, the distinction that people are missing is the difference between physical and non-physical. All right. <clears throat> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, so check me out. Check me out, okay? I'm going to hit y'all with a little story. Start y'all. I'm going to start y'all with a little story, okay? Uh, you know me. Trolling through Instagram. Trolling through Instagram. Not simply scrolling or walking, but trolling through Instagram. That's what I do. Um, I seen old buddy, man. Old buddy. Some, some earth. I don't remember his name. But he made, a, he made a post, and it was to the effect of... It was something like this. Um... Buddha slash Christ is just an expression of some type of a yogic thing. Uh, the, the point being, the point being is that he took, he took the idea and reduced it to something mundane. That's my point. Okay. Why did he do that? Because he has no distinction between physical and non-physical. I, I know this. Because we got into a nice conversation about it. You know, in the DM, people are a little more open to conversation. In the comments, they're like, people are watching. What if I look stupid? Well, you look stupid in the DMs too. All right. So I'm in the DMs with him. And, you know, we're going back and forth. And he's, he's, he's in the position where he doesn't want to concede anything. Because, because the foundations that he's using for spirituality are fragile. And this is something else I wanted to mention real quick. See, I'm going to I'm going to run around the bush here a little bit. Remember, the subject for today is the distinction between physical and non-physical. All right. And why you need it. Hey, fuck you niggas talking about I'm going to leave the spiritual physical world and never come back. You niggas talking about tapping into the spiritual realm, but you can't tell me where one ends and the other begins. You have no idea. So there's so you need to have a distinction. Otherwise, otherwise you. What, otherwise, what you're saying is simply affirmation. And for a lot of people, they're only here for affirmation and motivation. So I get it. I get it. Anyway, the story. Um, so I'm talking to him. He, he doesn't want to concede anything. You know, he, like, he, wants to, he wants to get to this place where he can show me that everything is physical and non-physical. And I'm like, dude, that's like, saying, that's like saying something is up and down. Like saying something is above and below. The two are, are so distinct that they define one another. Like fire and water, masculine and feminine. See, when I say things like the two define one another, this is, that's what I mean. I mean, they're so completely opposite that the scope of one is the extent of the other. God damn it. Anyway. Physical and non-physical. I'll get back to spiritual fragility in a second. Sp physical and non-physical, okay? And it's, and, it's, and it's very simple. It's very simple. You know, you can even use this as a litmus test for anyone else you're listening to. 
ask them to make the distinction between physical and non-physical. If you're talking spiritual shit, but can't make a distinction between the two, you're probably talking out the side of your neck. All right. The distinction between physical and non-physical. Here we go. Everything in the physical world is particulate matter. That's one way of saying it. Um, the way I like to say it is that everything in the physical world is something else. It's not its own thing. All right. Um, for example, the example I always use, an apple, right? If you have an apple on the table in the physical world, that apple has to be made of cells. Those cells have to be made of molecules. Those molecules have to be made of subatomic of atoms. Those atoms have to be made of subatomic particles and so forth and so forth and so forth. That atom, that apple had to have come from a tree, okay, in order for it to exist. It's all of those other things. It's appearing to be apple. Mm, mm. Because you could ask yourself, well, what respect is this not simply a collection of, cell, of, of, of cells? Why am I calling it an apple? To what degree is this not simply a collection of atoms? Why am I calling it an apple? Now imagine an apple. It doesn't have to have cells. It doesn't have to have atoms. It doesn't. It doesn't. That, see, but why? Because it's not physical. The things in the physical world are, are, are an outgrowth of what was before. It's it, The ends is to be unending, as they say. Well, not as they say, as I say. I'm the only nigga to say that shit. But. So, things like. Things like concepts, for example, are easy things to comprehend as non-physical, okay? The idea of, of courage. That was the example I gave him. The idea of courage. Okay, courage is not something you can go touch. It's not something somewhere made of particulate matter. Okay, it's not some electromagnetic vibration. Okay, I was about, I was about to go off on a whole other tangent about the whole electromagnetic spectrum, which is still physical fucking world. Anyways, um, courage is something that is non-physical. It is a thing in and of itself. That thing is not physical. Okay. If you're talking about deities, deities are not physical things. All right. If you're talking to Anunnaki, we're not some race of aliens. Like, this is what I mean when people take spiritual concepts and they reduce them to mundane things. And this is why they'll do it. This is why they'll do it. I'm not going to be a complete dick and pretend like, oh, I have no idea why niggas are doing this. This is just completely confusing to me. No, I actually want to know why they're doing it. So I figure it out. Um, <clears throat> This is why they're doing it. You're copying Western science. You're copying Western science. All right. Uh, I'll start out with an example and come back around to the full explanation on that. An example. Um, when I tell you what is water. Okay. Most of you will not only think of the, the, the physical manifestation of water, which is understandable, but you'll define it as H2O. You'll break it down to the relative particulate matter. You'll go down as opposed to up, it's funny. Anyways, the thing about Western science, Western science tells you how a thing behaves, it doesn't tell you what it is, okay? It doesn't tell you what it is. Uh, it says, how can you distinguish? How can, how can you distinguish? Very simple. Is it made of particulate matter? Is it? Is it some type of excitation of space time? See, and this is part of what I was re what I was realizing talking to him is that a lot of people don't actually think about all these things. Like they'll have the idea, and because somebody said something that sounded good, they'll say, "Hey, that makes sense." And you know, you got to know what it means for something to make sense before you can just agree something makes sense. Or well, you can agree, hit your hit your check, fire and facts, but <clears throat> they don't mean it makes sense. Okay. Um. Like I just told you, that was an easy way to distinguish. Is it made of particulate matter? If it's made of particulate matter, it's not something spiritual. Because it's physical. It's physical. The only way you can get around that is to say that everything is spiritual. Okay? In, in which case, I mean, I'm not going to tell you you can't say that. Because you can. You can make that argument. <clears throat> but then, in, then if that's the case, though, what does the distinction that you say something is spiritual even matter? 
Well, I'm talking spirituality. Well, if everything is spiritual, then what difference does it make by you saying spirituality? What was the point of making the distinction? See, we make distinctions to be specific. Okay. Like almost went off on another tangent. Almost went off. I'm getting better at this. Almost went off on another tangent. We use words to be specific. All right. If, if you're hearing words and you're confused, it's not because of the words. <laughs> It's you. <laughs> it's you. I didn't know Anunnaki aliens flying in chariots sounds pretty sick. Okay, it can sound pretty sick all it wants to. I mean, look, a nigga, a nigga turning water to wine at a wedding in front of all the bitches sounded sick. Ain't nobody want to believe that. Shit. Come on. I have a feeling I know who this is. I'm, I I have to go back into my... Where the fuck did I put my... Oh, I know where another one is. I got to get another one. Ah, I was sitting on it. That's why I couldn't find the lighter. Okay. Um. Now, Anunnaki, Anu, Anunnaki. This is this is the the the, the children of the Most High. Um. It's a spiritual concept. It is not something physical. See, this is this, is, and part of the reason why people fall into the flat Earth thing is because they can't make the distinction between physical and non-physical. All right. They, they basically they basically reduce everything to physicality, just like Massa taught you to do. You want to say, oh, I was wrong. I was lied to. I was lied to. But you're doing the same thing they taught you to do. All right. Back to the example I was talking about with water. Instead of H2O, think about to, to uh, maybe 5000 years ago. We we'll use the Orishas. Niggas know the Orishas. When somebody said water, they didn't think H2O in particulate matter. They didn't focus their attention to the physical world. They thought Yemenya, Olokun. They thought Yemenya, Olokun. That's a piece of Yemenya, Olokun. What are you agreeing to? Okay, because when you when you take spiritual concepts and you reduce them to 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 Western science, what you're what you're implicitly saying is that Western science, what they're, what they're describing to you is the ultimate reality. Okay. That's the first big mistake is that you're, 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 you're subtly putting a crown on Western science's descriptions of things. Western science describes how a thing behaves, not what a thing is. Hell yeah, the bitches, when the bitches are watching, shit gets crazy. That's why you got to get into DMs and you can't be in niggas comments. Cause they get they get sensitive about that shit. I know niggas is even sensitive in their DMs, which brings me back to spiritual fragility. Okay, this is this is an issue I'm here I'm, I'm I'm experiencing. Cause like I said, I like to I like to get around here and and talk with people, see what people are thinking, why they're thinking that. Spiritual fragility. Okay. Spiritual fragility. It doesn't mean the person is necessarily weak. It means when it comes to the conversation of spirituality, their concepts and ideas are weak. Their concepts and ideas cannot handle any scrutiny. Uh, for the most part, the, the reason they have their ideas is not so that they can ever be scrutinized, so that they can be held on a pedestal so that you can feel good about them. But that's not what spirituality is for. And see, once again, if you're one of these people who say everything is spirituality, then you, you take all the meaning out of the word. You take all of the meaning out of the words so that you can wave it around and tell people you're spiritual, but if everything is spiritual, then what the fuck difference does it make? It don't make none because you took all the meaning out of the word. Okay. The distinction between physical and non-physical is what's fucking motherfuckers up. Okay. Fuck me sideways. It's because I'm talking too much. Smoke me, smoke me, because I'm talking too much. No, I get it. And at first, because no one's, no one's pointing this out. Okay, it's not that it's not that nobody knows. It's that no one's pointing this out. Okay, um, they're quick to objectify subjective concepts. For example, the chakras. The chakras are not objective things. They're, motherfuckers love to say the word energy. 
energy is a physical world concept. It is, it is, it is literally the ability to do work. Work being classified as action in the physical world. All right, it's not, it's not some spiritual thing. Since their ideas are weak, doesn't that imply that one's mind is weak and further implying that they're weak? <sighs> no, that's a good question though. I appreciate that question. That's a good question. And here's why I'll say no. It's not necessarily that their mind is weak. It's that their presuppositions are weak. And it's more so about their relationship to them. Okay. It's like you built the house of your dreams, but you didn't put any, you didn't put enough work in on your foundation. And the motherfucker walk into the house of your dreams. They see all the shit you work so hard on and they look and say, Hey man, there's a, there's something wrong with your foundation and you just don't want to believe something's wrong with this thing that you've loved oh so deeply. All right. It's the same thing motherfuckers did with Jesus. You know, that's what, that's kind of what baffles me a little bit. Well, it's a little, it's a little off putting cause it's like, and I get, I get, I get, they don't get it, which is why I'm saying something <clears throat> like the degree to which motherfuckers didn't want to let go of Jesus, didn't want to stop believing, didn't want to have to think that they've been wrong all this time. Cause it must be a doozy to get out of Jesus. Having been wrong all that time, then get out here, say some shit out the side of your neck for the longest and you still wrong. I know I get it. And especially if the bitch is watching, it's terrible. It's terrible. <sighs> but see, this ain't about, this ain't about feeling good. This ain't about motivation. It's about getting it right. See, when people say this shit is a science, it's a science. Meaning you're going to have to be able to go back and forth. Yeah, these niggas are spiritually fucked. <laughs> you're going to have to be able to go back and forth. You're going to have to be able to debate your ideas. Otherwise, they're just your preference. They're just what you prefer to think. And you can't even, you can, I use the word think in that sense very loosely. Because thinking is an active process. Having a thought is a passive process. Okay. I, so I use the word think very loosely. I knew we were going to say that. I don't know what, what I said. Hey, look. <laughs> Spiritual, spiritually raped. Dude, what, what? What? By who? It wasn't me. Look, it wasn't me. <laughs> She'll be weak regardless if they notice it or not. Exactly. Exactly. See, the, the, the argument is weak. Them particularly, they, not, they might not be weak. Because it takes a lot to build all this convoluted shit motherfuckers believe in. Like, it takes a lot to believe the planet is flat. That's some serious blind faith. Just like it took a lot to believe a motherfucking white hair, wavy hair man, white, white skin, wavy hair man, or uh, you about to save the world. It takes a lot of blind faith to believe that. It takes a lot. I, I'm not gonna stop talking about you. Look, anyone who think I'm not talking about you, I guarantee you I am. You gotta at least take a second to think, maybe he talking about me. Let me see how this, how this is applied. <sighs> the distinction between physical and non-physical, okay? <clears throat> Ugh. And it's very simple. See, when people say go within, this is what you need to be able to do that. Because otherwise, what you're going to do is go into the physical world. Meaning, you're going to go into cells. You're going to go in like and, and create occult cell biology. Occult biology. That's ridiculous. There's no such thing as occult biology. Okay, you're going to go deeper into to, to melanin. All right. Me melanin may be a magnificent, spectacular physical world thing, but it's not spiritual. I said it. Melanin's not spiritual. You've reduced spiritual concepts to Western science. See, when Bobby Hemet did this shit 20 years ago and niggas had niggas, niggas was still scared of the devil. You needed that. Bobby's a nigga gonna sit out there on, on, on the corner, you know, talking to motherfuckers who ain't doing shit about shit. I'm not interested in them motherfuckers. I, that's the dirt. Them niggas are dead. <sighs> Your house is gonna fly away in a tornado with a weak foundation. Of course it will. But no one ever wants to believe the house they live and built in and invested in is going to fly away. Nobody wants to believe that. Hell, motherfuckers put their chest out talking about, I don't believe anything. I know. No, you don't. No, you don't. That's impossible. It's impossible not to believe anything. It's impossible. It's impossible. Oh my God. 
<laughs> knowledge is made of belief. Any knowledge you think you have is a dense collection of beliefs. Fuck out of here. These niggas are outside their mind. But I, I get it. You lose your metaphysical presuppositions, i.e. You, 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 you lose everything you thought you knew was true. You lose everything you thought you knew about the world. Jesus is wrong. Religion is wrong. These people are lying to me about things. I was just taking their word for it, but they was lying. And you lose all of that. I get it. It's terrible. It's awful. It, it's it's unsettling. All right. But it doesn't mean you just you just fall onto anything else. The distinction between physical and non-physical. You need this to do the go within. Otherwise, you're going to go within the physical world. All right. You have to be turned in the correct direction. And I don't mean directions like spatial directions. All right. You have to turn towards self. You have to turn towards self. Pride. What a wonderful thing. Hell yeah. Look, motherfuckers need to start identifying their pride. Stop blaming me. The ego. I ain't do shit to you. Fuck you mean? That's your pride. If you can get off of your pride. Maybe you can get in contact with the ego. But no. You're on your pride. Once I told that my ego made me, my ego made me. Like, you motherfuckers don't get what you agreeing to. It's your, it's your shit. There's nothing out there that's doing it to you. There's nothing out there that's doing it to you. That's easy to say. That's easy to say, but motherfuckers are quick to get into the whole they discussion. They this and they that. No, 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 no. Ain't no they. Ain't no they. Remember, I am. I am that I am. I think it's love to say some shit motivationally. Anyway, physical and non-physical, okay? Like I told you, start right where I told you. Imagine an apple. That is not a physical thing that you imagine. I don't care how the brain reacts to it. That is not a physical thing. Courage is not a physical thing. It can express physically. All right, you sit here and say all the time, I'm, I'm not, I'm not in the physical world, in the world, but not of it. I'm not the body. Okay, but you can express physically, right? Things that are non-physical can express physically, like easily for the last 40 years. Western scientists have known that space-time is emergent. What does that mean? Space-time, the physical world, is emergent, meaning it's not fundamental. It's not the primary thing. It's the effect of something. It's the effect of something and not simply your perception. Because when you say your perception, what do you mean? Your physical body's perception? You missed it. Not your eyeballs and your brain, although that shit is affected by this. I'm not talking your eyeballs and your brain. What does it mean to see? When you see that apple, I told you to imagine an apple. Did you need an eyeball? No. So seeing ain't got shit to do with eyeballs. It has nothing to do with the physical world. You have to know the distinction between physical and non-physical or else ain't none of this going to work for you. You're going to be looping yourself around, think, po pointing to something in the physical world, trying to tell me, oh, this is the thing. This is the thing. This is the thing. My pineal gland, my melanin, my cellular biology with the kundalini oil in my ass. Get the fuck out of here. It's no, that's not it. Neither shall I say, lo here, lo there, for the kingdom of God is within. What is within? What is within? This is what you, you have to have the distinction between physical and non-physical in order to understand that. And if you're sitting there right now thinking, why haven't you told me yet? I've told you like three times. I've told you like three times. See, this is the thing. What are you missing? What are you missing? <laughs> oh. And this is why I don't I don't deal with with stories of aliens, because even if even if alien stuff is real, it's still another narrative of the physical world. It's still another narrative of the physical world. Give unto Caesar what is Caesar's. Give back 10 percent, the tithing, right? 10 percent. Malkuth, the physical world is 10 percent of the whole tree of life. Give back 10 percent. Give that shit back. You, what do you mean when you say I go within? That I is the direction you need to be going towards. And if you're going to say, well, I am ain't the body. Okay, cool. That's wonderful. But then we, we, then don't go in the body. Like, that's the thing. Like, motherfuckers is quick to say, I'm not the body. But when it comes to going within, they go within the body. 
within the brain, within cells and melanin, trying to find Kundalini oil in your ass. I know, I'm being facetious. It's the tailbone. Okay, I know, I know. I'm being a dick. Neither shall I say lo here or lo there, for the kingdom of God within. It is not over there, over there, over there, over there, over there, over here. It's within. You have to turn in the direction of I. You have to really examine what the fuck you mean by that. See, this is what the motherfuckers like to do. Look. <clears throat> My soul. Okay, cool. I hear you. My soul, right? My soul. You made a distinction. You split it up. You made it possessive. My soul. So what's the thing that possesses the soul? You motherfuckers said it. My soul. I'm not going to tell you to say my soul. You motherfuckers want to say my soul. What's the thing that's possessing the soul then? See, a soul ain't something you have. It's something you are. A soul's not something you have. It's something you are. Like flicking a light on. Mm. Mm. the process itself of, of, of manifestation is like flicking a light on because, because the thing I would tell you to go towards that I is the light of your awareness see when I say light I'm not talking about physical form light just like when I was talking about sight and we're talking about that apple and you imagine an apple and you don't need physical eyeballs to see it when I'm talking light you don't need physical light to be what I'm talking about Okay, and I'm not trying to uh, I'm not trying to to tell you about some objective spooky light out there that you that that's the new thing. Like you have to think about your thinking. All right. What does it mean to see when you're not dealing with eyeballs? I told you, imagine the apple. That's something non-physical. It's very simple. It's very simple. Imagine it. It's something non-physical. What the fuck is looking at that? It's not this thing. This thing uses eyeballs to look. What the fuck is looking at that apple? See, just saying I ain't enough. There's no detail to that. You can't use your personality. Your personality ain't the thing. That's based in the physical world. The whole idea of what your personality is, is based upon the presumption that what you are is the physical body. It's not your body and it's not your personality. You need to know the distinction between physical and non-physical or else you're looking in the wrong places for these things. You're looking in the wrong places for these things. The light of the awareness, the observer, is a position to begin to locate within your experience. You, you, I would say yes, because you can't even experience without it. It's the center of everything you're doing. Everything that you would even call you is centered around that. It, it's 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 the central point of your awareness and and just because we're calling it a central point doesn't mean it has no dimension to it I guarantee you oh my god I guarantee you <sighs> there's plenty of dimension see what can look like a single point from per, a particular perspective can be a a, 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 a a line or a shape for example <clears throat> let's say um what's a good shape everyone knows a hexagon right Hexagon, five-sided, uh, two-dimensional shape, right? If I got a hexagon on a piece of paper and I zoom the fuck out, what's it going to look like? A single point. I'm telling you to go towards the point. I'm not telling you it's only a point. I'm telling you to go towards the point. The distinction between physical and non-physical. You need to have it. Otherwise, you're going to be looking in the wrong fucking place. I guarantee you. How do I know? I did it. I was you, niggas. So light in this case is metaphorical, like it represents awareness. The physical world is metaphorical. I would say that, but it's, 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 it's describing a quality of awareness. All right. It's describing a quality of awareness. This is why I say that, um, <clears throat> your awareness, what you see is defined by the things you don't see. It's like a spotlight. In order to see anything, to focus on anything, just like your physical body does this all the time, all right? In order to focus on anything, you have to drown out everything else. 
What you're seeing is defined, it's given definition by what you don't see. It's like a spotlight. That's how awareness works. So you can't be aware of everything at one time because then you're not even aware, you're just everything. This is what you need distinction. You need, you need the, 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 you need the illusion. Like, fuck, man. And I see, that's one of the interesting things about the physical world. I tell people, you know, everybody says the physical world is an illusion. I like to say it's illusionary because illusion does not mean it's fake. It means it's not what it appears to be. That's a very different thing. That's a very different thing. Motherfuckers will say the physical world is fake and then go pay their bills and go to the job. Shut the fuck up. You're lying to yourself. This shit is real. But it's not what it appears to be. Everything in the physical world is not what it appears to be. It's something else. That's what I said. The apple. The example of the apple. If there's an apple on the counter in the kitchen. It's not just an apple. It's cells. It's molecules. It's atoms. It's a piece of the planet. It's a piece of the solar system. It's a piece of the galaxy. It's not just an apple. It's, um, it's so it's infinitely many other things. And in order to consider it an apple, you have to drown out everything else it is. Fuck out of here, man. I'm sitting here telling you the light of your awareness. In order to see, there have to be things you don't see. What you see is defined by what you don't see. Beyond the five senses. Beyond the five senses. Because look, just like I was talking about, it's true, just like I was talking about, that apple, you, when you imagine that apple, there's a sense you're using. It's not the senses. It's not this thing. I'm going to fuck my eye up. Chill out. Chill out. <laughs> I'm going to fuck my eye up. It's not this thing. This thing is limited to five senses, okay? And, you know, that, <sighs> motherfuckers, don't, motherfuckers be taking these five senses for granted, bro. Right? I'm not telling you to ignore the physical world. Do not. It's real. But it's not what it appears to be. That's the big thing. Yeah, you can call it consciousness. I think I, I don't like the term consciousness because it's so weighed down. It's like a container word at this point because no one takes any time to actually think about what things are. They just say something. So you, you know what I mean? You get what I'm saying? You hear what you know what I mean? No, I don't because you didn't say it. But no one's worried about that. They just want to say whatever they feel. Oh my fucking God. Spiritual fragility. This is what I mean by fragility. Meaning their ideas and arguments cannot withstand any scrutiny, any scrutiny. They return to a neutral position. Like some people, they'll get upset. They'll try and fight you, call you a hotep, block you. Okay. Then there's the other side of people who immediately abandon everything that they've claimed and go back to a neutral position. Okay. Uh, here's an example of that. Um, I know this one dude, um, and he, he loves to pontificate about what he what he knows what he, what, what he what he says and, and you know what's some some spiritual knowledge but as soon as you question it he just goes back to well you know ultimately it's all preference if it's all preference then what you said meant nothing this is what i mean when i say they abandon whatever claim they made and go back to being neutral it's fragile it's fragile whatever you say you believe it needs to be strong how do you make it strong you try and destroy it. Try and destroy everything you think you believe. I mean, earnestly, earnestly try and destroy it. Because look, what you want, you want a motherfucker like me to come along and destroy what you believe? I'll do it, I have fun with it, please. Because I've done this shit to myself for years. Look, you have to do it. Otherwise it doesn't have integrity. Let's say you made a, um, you made a baseball bat, all right? This is the first baseball bat you ever made, nigga, right? But you didn't test whether or not it had any integrity. You just so proud that you made it and it looked nice and it looked like, oh, this looked like it's strong. Uh, I'm, I'm a threatening nigga with this. Uh, oh. And as soon as you hit something, it just crumbles. You have to test the integrity of your ideas. This is a science. It's not simply something you say to motivate you to feel good about the fact that you live in a shitty life. This is a science. If you're above, you niggas to say you're above debating, but you're not above out here, sitting out here pontificating, telling niggas about flat earth. You ain't above that. Fuck out of here. Niggas is ridiculous. They're fragile. They're fragile. And that's why spirituality at the moment is untenable. Untenable meaning you can't hold it, meaning its own arguments cannot sustain it. 
What's up? We talking consciousness. We talking the distinction between the physical and the non-physical. You need to be able to make this distinction if you're going to progress in any type of spiritual work. It is not your melanin. It is not your cell biology. It is not some oil in your spine. I actually seen niggas out there trying to activate their anus. That shit was ridiculous. This shit's ridiculous. I mean, it's a little funny. I'm not gonna lie. But it's ridiculous. It's crazy. It's the silence beyond what is. Damn. Bruh. It's the silence itself. And see, when I tell you that point, that point of your awareness, that I, is not simply singular in this dimensionality, the silence is not singular in this dimensionality, which is why it can contain everything. Every song you ever heard begins and ends with silence. As a matter of fact, in the middle of the song, when a nigga drop the beat and just go silent, and it hit that shit again, it's some of the most iconic shit you ever heard. Fuck out of here. The, the silence is the thing. The emptiness is the thing. One of its characteristics is having no particular thingness of itself, but that doesn't mean it's nothing at all. Mm-mm-mm. God damn. Damn it, I hate niggas. See, niggas don't think about none of this stuff. They just say whatever feels good and what's going to make them the next motivational preacher out here. Niggas hated Passa, but you're going to be out here being being spooky Passa with crystals and a new mantra for niggas to say. I seen a motherfucker had a mantra, uh, one of them Indian mantras for the light body. And I'm looking at it and it looks like just a collection of letters. And I'm like, a nigga could have just sent you a collection of letters, told you it was a mantra, and you'd have been out here reading it, act, talking about you doing the work, and you tapping in. What? Stop. Niggas are dumb as fuck. Ugh. And, but, but, but why do they think things like this? Why? It's not simply because they're dumb. It's because they don't know the distinction between physical and non-physical. If you knew the distinction between physical and non-physical, you know there's no mantra that's going to make you do it. The only way a mantra is going to help is if you have the context behind it. Maybe you actually speak that language. Maybe you grew up within the, 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 the culture from which that language arose. Okay, maybe, maybe, if that, maybe if you knew the deities, if you knew those deities the way niggas know Jesus, then maybe it would be something. But it's not. It's just a new, it's a new thing. Niggas out here taking, popping pineal pills and packs. Fuck out of here. It's a grain of, it's a, it's a tiny piece of flesh. You mean to tell me the one thing that's all things couldn't do nothing until a tiny piece of flesh activates. What's stop? What's stop? <laughs> And I legit only have four because of a TBI. I don't know what any of that means. You have to enlighten me. Hopefully you'll do so as I scroll through these comments. I legit only have, I have only four because of a TBI. I don't know what a TBI is. And I'm not sure what you're referencing. But you can let me know. That's, that's, that's quite all right, sir. Hey, are you still in here? Oh, no. I don't think I can wave to people who aren't in here anymore. He, he probably dipped out already. Huh? If you've seen the crack, you've seen the cocaine. <laughs> hey, that's like if you've seen the crack, you see the... Bruh. <laughs> bruh. See? That's why I fuck with you, bruh. I'm telling you. <laughs> God's the cocaine. Jesus is the crack. You've seen the cocaine. If you've seen the crack, you've seen the cocaine. <laughs> mm. Niggas don't get it though. It's cool. And when I say, I don't just say, I just, I say, this is another thing motherfuckers do. Spiritual fragility. They want to have different ways of, of finding out how, how they can have no argument and still say something, right? They'd be like, if you know, you know. No. 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 How, how would you know? Well, if you know, you just know. How would you know? If you know, you just know. How would you know? Epistemology. How do we know what we know? See, motherfuckers talk metaphysics. They have no idea what ontology is, what epistemology is, and therefore their methodology is flawed. But stop. But stop. This shit's basic. The motherfuckers love to say I'm a metaphysician, but they don't do no metaphysics. 
They don't spit this. They don't talk this shit. They don't know this shit. And they're not willing to discuss it. What they'll do is pontificate. Exactly. Block you. Niggas will block you. Bruh, stop. Silence is everywhere. Silence is it's the only thing. Like, you like uh, I, I usually do geometric representations because I think ge- geometry expresses this very well. Um, music and color do as well, but I'm not as versed at, um, at articulating those. Um, but if you're talking geometry, right, you got a blank paper, blank plane. Then you get a point. Then you get a line. Then you get a triangle. Then you get a square and so forth. You, all these little these these different manifestations are an outward expression of the emptiness. It's the emptiness that's changing the whole time. Like you ever seen that shit? Um, I think it's called cymatics, where they uh, they put some sand on a speaker and they turn the speaker to different frequencies and the, and, the, and the shape of the sand changes. It's not the sand that's changing. It's the sound. It's the shape of the sound that's changing. <clears throat> So when you see line points, lines, then shapes, it's not the, the it's not the points and lines that are changing. It's the empty space. When you're playing, you you you're playing the, the notes on your instrument. It's not the notes that are changing. The notes are, are very stable. They're very consistent. They are what they are. They're expressions of a thing. It's the empty space that's changing. And how you change the empty space is what makes the music, man. Bruh. The distinction between physical and non-physical, okay? I got to keep coming back to it because I have to stay on topic because otherwise I'll just go all over the fucking place. The distinction between physical and non-physical. If you do not have this distinction, everything you're doing is fluff. It's going to be fluff because you'll end up going within the physical world. You'll end up, you'll end up glorifying the physical world in some new particular way. You'll be taking your new pineal gland and telling me you're doing the work. You know, pineal pill for your pineal gland and telling me you're doing the work. You'll be doing some new mantra that you found in some language that you don't speak and tell me you're doing the work. You'll be doing sun gaze and fucking up your eyeballs telling me you're doing the work. Neither shall I say lo here or lo there for the kingdom of God is within. Oh, but within what? Within what? You'll say I'm not the body, so it can't be that. The, the, you have to turn the light of the awareness back on itself. The light of the awareness, the scope, the perception, the, 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 the center of your experience, you have to turn it back on yourself. My nigga, you are inside out. That's why you're doing, that's why you're doing this shit. You're inside out. Fuck. Hello, darkness, my old friend. I really do. I learned to play down on the guitar, babe. I'm slipping. I really am. Spooky pasta. And niggas will serve that shit up hot or cold, nigga. Spooky pasta in this bitch. Why can't I scroll? Stop trying to get me to type. Four out of five senses. Not sure how crucial smelling your own shit is <laughs> physical. <laughs> Yo, the interesting thing about that. Um, Here, check me out. You got sight, right? That's forward and backward. Because everything you're seeing forward is defining what you're not seeing backward. But then at the same time, you got hearing, which comes out this side. That's two senses. Smell and taste are the same sense in different forms. Like you have fire and fire and water define one another, okay? Fire and water, they're defining one another. Well, you can, you can actually have a debate about which sense, which sense correlates to which element. I'd love to have that debate, but niggas don't debate anymore. Anyways. Fire and water, right? That's two. The next two are smell and taste. They're the same sense, but in different, different, um, different densities. That's what I was gonna say. I was gonna say frequencies, but then when niggas say the word frequency, they go, oh my God, frequency, oh my God. No, different densities, okay? It's the same sense. It's the same sense. Smell and, smell and, uh, smell and taste, but they're, they're, they're picking up on, di- on different densities of the same thing. Anyways, touch. Touch is 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 the um how do I want to say this? Touch is the, the the central focal point for all four of the other senses. What you consider hearing is touch. It's your eardrum touching the air. What your with your with your eyeballs, the light touching your eyeballs. The eyeballs are the only part of the brain that touch the outside world. Okay? Um smell, taste. It's something touching. Without the touch, none of the other senses work. 
So touch is the primary sense. You have the one with the four around it. Let's stop. Niggas, niggas out here have no, they don't think about none of this stuff. They just they just they just impressed that they're not Christian. And that ain't enough. That, that ain't enough, bruh. Hell, that music reference was 100. <laughs> Look, bro, you should have gave me 200. Fuck you talking about. <laughs> uh, okay, look at that. Uh, uh, one is air and the other is water. So we could, we could, we could have that discussion. We could have that discussion because look, I was thinking about it like this. Um, I was thinking it about like um, like sight would be fire, but taste and smell would be water, because what fire and water have a have a dual relationship with each other. Uh, they, they usually exist in a dichotomy, not a polarity. Polarity is four. Dichotomy is two or duality uh, where they define one another like up and down, above, and below, left and right, uh, hot and cold, on and off. They define one another. OK, uh, so usually they're doing the complete opposite of the other one, which is part of the reason I think that you have that smell and taste coming off as the same thing, which would reduce it back to four, which is the four elements. But anyways, uh, and then with air being hearing and the touch being earth because earth within the four elements is the stage upon which everything else plays uh, plays out there's a discussion to be had there's a discussion to be had I won't lie but see look motherfuckers will try and spiritualize the, 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 the senses so what were we just talking about there with the five senses they're still physical world senses so I'm not I'm not trying to tell you they're they're ultimately spiritual and spooky. Like no, it's how, it's what you're agreeing to. It's how you're defining reality. And when you take spiritual subjective concepts and you make them mundane and objectify them, you strip all of their meaning out of them. You take everything that they meant, everything that they represented, and you strip it away and say, hey, this thing that Western science found is really what they were talking about. Really, what they were talking about is DNA. What? What? Why? Why? Well, you know, this is this is what science is. And if I say a sciencey word, it's science. No, it's not. What you've just done is you've made materialism supreme. You've made particle physics supreme. This is why I tell motherfuckers, stay out the quantum shit. You're just going deeper in the physical world. You missed it again. You missed it again. I'm not saying ignore the physical world. It's real, but it's not what it appears to be. See, this is why motherfuckers have to learn to deal with illusion. You have to, you have to be able to deal with illusion. Illusion ain't going nowhere. Illusion is fundamental. Illusion is fundamental. I'm gonna activate my junk DNA head ass niggas. Let's stop. Let's stop. Like I said, man, you think the one thing that's everything is waiting for some physical thing to activate? No. No, because then that's another they. That's another they. So it's not so it's not the devil and it's not the Anunnaki, but the they you waiting on is the DNA. I just gotta get them to activate. Turn on, turn on, I just gotta get them to activate. I'm gonna eat my spirulina. No. No. What you have to stop doing is agreeing to this. You're agreeing to this. When you take something spiritual and make it mundane, you agree to do that. Fuck out of here. Niggas talking about the magnetosphere is how you escape the physical realm? No. 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 It's another symmetry of space time. Space time is emergent. Space time is not fundamental. I wish I, I'm going to find more ways to say this shit. I guarantee you. Because this is what I do. I'm an actual metaphysician. I actually think about these things. I actually think about the presuppositions that we make and what the implications of those presuppositions are. Fuck out of here. I know this other nigga. Look, this nigga be coming up with new, he, he go find a new um, study, some, some new ology, and then claim that's what he doing to try and distinguish himself. You know, like, I mean, but that's what you got to do when you decide to reduce everything. Well, it's all just preference. Because if it's all just preference, then whatever the fuck you said don't matter. I'm telling y'all niggas, it's not just preference. It's not whatever paradigm you're agreeing to, what, what paradigm you choose. There are consistencies in reality. And to ignore them is ridiculous. It's blind faith. It's going back to Jesus, but with more steps. 
fuck out of here. At least with Jesus, they told you what the steps were. They gave you a little bit of wine to drink on. Y'all niggas just out here sober as hell, blind faith up, man. That's just crazy. And niggas think I'm not talking about them. That's the crazy shit. You think I'm talking about the dead niggas. Fuck the dead niggas. They supposed to be dead. <laughs> it was fucking niggas. They supposed to be dead. <sighs> Defining reality is like making a distinction between your role versus the one taking on the role. Mm. <laughs> Sometimes the public will only see my me my an actor by the role that they play. And some actors never leave it. <laughs> yeah, I'm talking about all of you, including you talking about all of you you see i can only do this because i've said it about me i've said it about me well, let me go back to that defining reality is like oh what's this other thing oh, oh, don't be, okay defining reality is like making the distinction between your role versus the one taking on the role mm. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna read it again take it in because it's, it's, it's pertinent guys it's germane to the topic <laughs> Learned a little bit right there. You see that? Oh, hell. Defining reality is like making the distinction between your role versus the one taking on the role. You have to make that distinction. You have to make that distinction. There's a role you're playing here, but the one playing the role isn't the fucking role. Martin Lawrence isn't actually Martin from the show. I know it's hard to believe you just know so much about Martin from the show. Oh my God, I know you, I love you, great. No, that's not the same nigga. He's playing a role. He's playing a role. Here's an example I like to use. Uh, I tell you niggas, the same shit that, that you've done to yourself spiritually, they do to you on paper with all this law shit. Uh, the governor, okay? <clears throat> the governor, which is different from the mayor. Governor and mayor, two different things. Mayor, different from the governor. Anyways, anyways, <clears throat> the governor, <clears throat> it's an office. It's a position, okay? The power is in the office. It's in the position, not the person. The person is vested with the power. The person is vested with the power. If I take that nigga out the office and put someone else in, see, the office ain't the space. It's the position. The office ain't the room with the computer and the desk and the printer. That's not the office. It's called an office. The physical world, the, the planet is not Earth. It's called Earth. Okay? The planet is not Earth. It's called Earth. The room is not an office. It's called an office. It's a room. Fuck out of here. If I take that motherfucker out of the office, out of the position, and put someone else there, where's the power? It's on a new motherfucker, right? Because that new motherfucker is now vested in the power. The power wasn't in the person. It's in the office. It's in the position. That's why they're vested in the power. Y'all motherfuckers, is, is, is you're, you're ass backwards thinking this shit is something in the physical world. Thinking this shit is something in the physical world. It's not. And it never could be. Which is why you need to know the distinction between physical and non-physical. I'm telling you, because if you don't know the distinction between the office and the officer, you're going to be sitting there glorifying the officer for the power that comes with the office. Can I, can I say it more plainly? Can I, can I probably could, I could probably I could find a way. It's a challenge. It's a challenge, but like, fuck, but like, fuck. The distinction between physical and non-physical. I'll go back to the example. Same example. There's an apple on the counter. It's only an apple because you're ignoring everything else it is. It's so many other things. It's not even its own thing. If you imagine an apple, not only are you not using your physical eyes to see it, but it doesn't have to be cells. It doesn't have to have come from a tree. You imagine an apple, it don't have to have come from a tree. If there's an apple on your counter in the kitchen in the physical world, it has to have come from a tree. It has to, that's how they work, period. The, this is why I'm saying the physical world is real. There are, there are rules, there, 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 there are structure to it. There are consistencies and you can't just say it's an illusion and try and think that means it's not real. Illusion means it's not what it appears to be. That is very different. 
that is very, very different. Because if you can't tell me the difference between the physical world and non-physical world, ain't no way in hell you getting out and never coming back. I don't give a damn if you magnetosphere, melanin, DNA, chakra, kundalini, your ass up, nigga. You ain't never getting out. You're never getting out. And see, this is the funny part about that, because this ain't a prison. You're agreeing to be here. You're agreeing to be here. Simply by what you agree yourself is. What is you? Oh, my soul. The possessive. What's the thing that possesses the soul? See, a soul ain't a possession. A soul is something you are, not something you have. It's really simple. But see, this is the hard part. Admitting to yourself that you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Admitting to yourself that you've been wrong about things. Admitting to yourself that in front of the bitches that maybe you don't know what you're talking about. See, that's the hard part. It's easy to get out here and, and push the new latest motivation to tell niggas, hey, hey guys, just, just do a little bit more and you'll get through it. That ain't spirituality. You could have done that with Jesus. What's the difference between physical and non-physical? Because if you don't know, all the shit you telling me is spiritual, it's bullshit. Because you don't know. Nah, you know, you know what I'm saying? I'm talking about, I don't know shit, boy. You know enough to get out here and pontificate on them niggas, boy. You be giving niggas all the motivation. Like, this is a nigga, yes, sir, man. Hell no. <laughs> boy, be out here motivate niggas, bro. Look. Look. Because I seen you, 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 you had the mantra. You was the nigga with the mantra, man. Look, I seen that mantra. I seen the, I seen the text of it, bro. It looked like just a bunch of alphabet letters. How you know that's a mantra? You don't know that language? And then just because you say the mantra, just because you think the mantra, what's it going to do? You don't even know that language. You don't even fuck with them deities like that. Like the way niggas know Jesus over here is the way niggas back then knew Hanuman, Ganesh, Shiva, Brahma. That's how they knew them niggas. They knew them niggas inside out. You don't know them niggas inside out. So doing that mantra ain't going to be the thing. You may as well speak in tongues, bro. You may as well read a random passage out the Bible because it's just sound. It's just going to be words. You got to lean in, bro. You got to lean in. What is you? And the only way you're going to get an answer to that, if it's a question, <laughs> is you have to know the difference between physical and non-physical. If you can't make the distinction, ain't no way you're going to tell me I'm never getting out of here. And you know what? And all, and all, for all honesty, look, if if you if, if one of y'all are the type of motherfucker who's just like, you know what, I'm going to just cycle through physical life forever and I'm going to figure it out when I figure it out. OK, cool. More power to you. You know, you could have done that with Jesus. I'll say that much. You could have done that with Jesus. But if that's where you want to land, cool, because you're agreeing to it. Like I say, the physical world ain't a prison. You're agreeing to this place. You're agreeing to this place. But just like Dorothy in The Wizard of Oz, she did not know the nature of her predicament or how she was continuing to agree to it. She never left Kansas. But she walking all down the yellow brick road listening to them dumbasses who don't know nothing. And the motherfucker who did know something wasn't about to tell her nothing because that motherfucker wanted something from him. I'm sitting here giving y'all niggas the shit. The shit. Imagine if Dorothy had landed in, 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 in Oz in that little munchkin land, little midget land, right? And a motherfucker would have walked up to, hey, 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 Dorothy. Better peek them shoes real quick, bitch. What? These are just shoes. Oh, no, I don't know anything about that. I'm going to go see the wizard. Fuck that shit. Walking around all down the yellow brick road. The road to, the road to hell is paved with good intentions. It's covered in gold. Fuck that shit. Walking around the yellow brick road, lost as fuck, don't know what the fuck she doing, whole time she could have left. Never left Kansas. Never left Kansas. What are you agreeing to? What is the nature of your predicament and how are you continuing to agree to it? Apple don't fall far from the tree. How you have fallen from heaven. <laughs> really, right? Ain't no, ain't no way to go. Dorothy never leaves Kansas. Oh. Look, do, walking around, look, Apple fell off the tree. We're not in the canopy anymore. Fuck out of here. 
No, no, look, no, no, not in the academy. We're not in the forest anymore, are we? Get the fuck you are. You never leave the forest. You gotta become a tree and quit playing. Motherfuckers wanna hold on to the fleshy fruit part. Oh, this is what I am. I'm an apple. No, you're not. No, you're not. You the thing in there. You the seed. You the seed. You can't even. You can't even get to the seed shit because you so caught caught up in holding on to the apple flesh. Boy, give on the Caesar what is Caesar's. That flesh is for the earth. It's for the ground. It's for the shit down there to eat. Because otherwise, would nothing give a fuck about that apple seed. Would nothing cultivate that apple seed. Fuck out of here, man. Fuck out of here. Mm -mm. I can't see the forest for the trees because you swear you an apple. Let's stop. <laughs> can't see the forest for the trees because you swear you an apple. Well, what is you? It ain't the body and it's not the personality. Upgrading your DNA ain't going to do it. Upgrading your pineal gland ain't going to do it. You know, eating your spirulina, you know, tapping into your melanin. If that was even a thing you could do, Fuck out of here. Fuck out of here. Every complex nervous system has melanin. Every motherfucker, they tell you melatonin. Right? Right? Get into biochemistry. It doesn't say mela in the front for nothing. Not to say it is melanin, but there's a correlation. Okay? Every complex nervous system is going to have that as a component. It's not something special that it's in your skin. At least when I'm talking spirituality. As far as the physical world, bro, you're going to have to ask somebody else about that. <laughs> and see, you motherfuckers are cool with that. It's starting to make more sense. Hee hee. Hee hee. I hit that Michael Jackson real quick. <laughs> the irony. <laughs> right, it's so simple. It's so simple. The distinction between physical and non-physical is very simple. And if it's hard to grasp, start with imagining an apple. That's the direction you need to go in. That's the direction you need to go in. Not spatial directions. That's the direction you need to go in. Here, this is, I'm going to do one more thing because my drink is empty and I want to smoke again. I'm going to do one more thing, right? <clears throat> I'm gonna do one more thing. Cause I haven't, I haven't done this analogy in a minute. All right. Um, the physical body is a hand of what you are. A hand, okay? Here, so roll with me. All right, look at your hand, right? The thumb, you got these two parts. The fingers, each have the three, right? Just like your physical body, the arm, you got the hand, forearm, upper arm, that's three. Same thing on the arm, on the leg, you got the thigh, the shin, and the foot. That's three, just like the fingers, right? Now with the four fingers, you can do you can do a lot of shit. Like try just taking your thumb out the, the picture and do some shit. You can do a lot with just the four fingers, but when the thumb is involved, you can do exponentially more things, all right? I showed you the three, the arm, arm, leg, leg, and the head is just the two. One, two, right? Because the third aspect is the, is the core. This is one, two, three. The third aspect is the core itself. One, two, three. All right. Anyways, <clears throat> even though you can do infinitely more things once the thumb is involved, all right, you get the fingers and the thumb. Once the thumb is involved, you can do exponentially more things. That was the word, exponentially, not infinitely, exponentially, excuse me. You can do exponentially more things. However, and this is the crux, regardless of what the fingers and thumbs are doing, the fingers and thumb, not, not plural, it's singular. Regardless of what the fingers and thumb are doing, if the wrist says to move, the whole thing moves, right? So the wrist is gonna control all of it. As a matter of fact, you can even feel in your arm, move your fingers, you can feel the pull right here. This is where all, all this stuff you think is up going on up here, it's really down here. This is the effect of it. So ask yourself this, ask yourself this, if the arms and legs are the fingers and the head is the thumb, where is the wrist? It's gotta be in the, no, it's not, that's the thumb. It's not in the fingers either. Oh, Ben, <laughs> I love it, I love it. <sighs> y'all gotta get y'all a wife, man. You gotta get you a wife. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. Can I get a refill? <laughs> what you talking about, man? <laughs> Where's the wrist? Where's the wrist? Uh, 
within. It's behind the whole damn thing. It's by it's a, it's some place the hand can't go. The hand can't cut back all the way back there. No matter which way you turn it, it can't go that way. Within, within. Fuck you mean? Within. It's not something in the physical world that's going to get you to the next place. It's not. There's no upgrade on your pineal gland, no upgrade on your DNA, no alien coming back to save you from a reptilian. None of that. There's no such thing as occult biology. There's no such thing as occult biology. Biology only covers things in the physical realm. And not only that, it only describes how they behave. It doesn't tell you what they are. Giving something a name in biology or any other of the Western sciences is like saying X in algebra. It's a placeholder. If you want to know what things are, you have to go to the philosophers. Got some shit in my beard. It's okay. I'm a piece of shit anyways. <laughs> if you want to know what a thing is, you have to go to the philosophers. Metaphysics is a branch of philosophy. I tell, see, well, this shit is easy. You don't need me to tell you this. This is the age of knowing. Everything you could want to know, you can find. Well, almost everything. Real shit. I'm, I'm, I'm being a little bit facetious and, 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 um, and vague. Almost anything you want to find. Mm. It's not difficult, y'all. The distinction between physical and non-physical. I was about to leave, but now I might just talk a little more shit. This is what I was going to get into. Spiritual fragility. Spiritual fragility. When I say fragility, I'm talking about the, 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 the propensity for the thing to not be able to withstand scrutiny, to not be able to be challenged, to not be able to, to, to take the back and forth. That's the fragility. People, they, they have spiritual beliefs and it's blind faith. It's blind faith. They can't handle anyone, anyone challenging it. Either they block you, call you a hotep and run away, or they abandon their claims and go back to neutrality. <clears throat> both of which are, <clears throat> both of which are, are fraudulent. I'll say they're fraudulent. No, because they have to prove fraud. And it's hard to prove intent. I'm not gonna, I'm not, because I want to speak to their intent, because motherfuckers just say their intent is something different. It's disingenuous, is what it is, at the very least. It's disingenuous. You need to take what you think you believe and try and destroy it. Really try and destroy it. Because if you don't, Niggas like me go come by. You ever heard of Elf on the Shelf? Nigga, I'm trolling a hole. I'm in the hole in your foundation. I'm the troll sitting in the hole in your foundation. Trolling your dumb ass with truth. <clears throat> Did you get to the point you intended when you mentioned uh, DM and Buddha Christ Yoga, bro? <laughs> nah, he eventually, he eventually just stopped messaging. I mean, he, at first he went back to neutrality. But eventually he's just like, I'm, I'm out of here. Because their ideas can't stand up to scrutiny. Because look, and, and, I, and I'll expand on that a little bit more, bro. Because what he was trying to do was reduce the, the archetype of Christ and Buddha to simply an expression of, of human yoga. And that's not the case. That's not the case. And it's disgusting. It's disgusting. Like when niggas try and say, uh, well, well, uh, some spirituals insert some spiritual thing is really melanin. You just reduce it to particulate matter. That's disgusting. That's that's no wonder these motherfuckers hate humans. Like that's disgusting. Like think about it like this. The different the different descriptions of Western science 
are descriptions of reality. There are metaphysical presuppositions, just like the example I gave before. If I ask you to think, what is water? Most will go to, to H2O. Water is H2O. All right. And then, and then, and then the water is hydrogen and it'll keep trying to break it down to the next particle. Why? Because their metaphysical presuppositions are materialist. They're particular, they're, they're, they're based in particle physics. Okay. This is why I tell you stay out of quantum shit. They're based in particle physics. Quantum shit is just more, more new particles, more new particles to have a particle. And this is the, this is a flaw Look, Western scientists will tell you space time is emergent. To have a particle, you need a medium in which the particle exists. You need a medium. So, so the particle can be either a particle or a wave. The particle, wave, and medium. That's three things. Fuck. So you motherfuckers is quick to, to leave something in a duality. That's not going to work. That's not going to work. That's what Descartes fucked up with. Get into philosophy of mind. Descartes came up with dual, dualism. You know, he was, he, was, he was the original skeptic. You motherfuckers want to talk about you're a spiritual skeptic. No, you're not. Trash. He was the original skeptic. He came up with, um, what do they call it? The coup d'etat? No, it's not the coup d'etat. Coup d'etat is completely different. Chill out, bro. Um, uh, what, did, what did they call it? What was the fancy word they called it? Ah, uh, fuck. Fuck. But in English, in English, the way it translates into English is, um, I think, therefore I am. He came up with that. You ever heard that shit? That's what that, that was Descartes. Okay. Philosophy of mind. You motherfuckers talk, oh, all is mind, all is mind. And you go straight to thinking. You motherfuckers are dumb. There's a whole branch of thought about what mind is, how that functions. Descartes, they, they, well, uh, it, it, um, Descartes, Descartes, uh, it's something like that. If I put the video up, I'll probably put the text up if I remember to do that shit. Uh, but Descartes, Descartes, look up Descartes and philosophy of mind. It'll get you, it'll get you to it. De Descartes, there we go. Thank you, burial son, Descartes. Um, he came up with that. That was dualism. But the thing about Descartes, See, he, 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 he divided reality into mind and matter. Okay. He was, he was the first person in Western thought to do that. He divided reality into mind and matter. But the issue with that is that he couldn't reconcile that paradox. He couldn't reconcile how with mind and matter being so diametrically opposed, how they could ever come to meet, how they could ever mix. And we all know they mix. Look at, examine your experience. E even for a moment, we all know they mix. It's it's how your, your 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 reality is defined by the mixation of mind and matter. What Descartes was missing was he stopped at two. If you have two, you have three. I tell you niggas all the time. I tell you niggas all the time about the Trinity. If you have two, you have three. Memory dips into four. Memory... <clears throat> memory takes what's experienced as three and, and, and solidifies it so that you can revisit it. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. Nah, my kids. I'm not going to eat them. It's fine. <clears throat> Look, memory is part of the reason you think what you are is what you are. Like, for example... <clears throat> You pop into a dream, right? The dream comes with memories. Like you won't even know how you got where you got to, but you'll have a memory that'll let you know why you're doing what you're doing. Like you'll be in a dream. I was, I was chasing something. I don't even know how I got there, but I knew I was supposed to be chasing it. Memory. <clears throat> memory. Memory can be very vague. You start a video game and it starts you off. The story starts you off halfway in the middle of this motherfucker's life. Like I love Skyrim. Skyrim starts you off and, and the dude's about to be executed. Like <clears throat> that's the middle of somebody's life. There's memory. Okay. So memory helps to define. It's the stage upon which other things are played out. Okay. Um, and, and see, this is the thing. And this is also the thing. I'm going to say it's also the thing. 
You don't want to simply reduce everything to simply I am. That's a cop out. That's a cop out. Everything is I am. That it's, it's, it's once again, it's not saying anything. A roach is that. A particle of dust is that. There's nothing in the physical world that isn't an expression of I am. So you're not saying anything. You're not making any progress. Like just saying a seed is I am misses the whole forest. Like, God damn it, man. Motherfuckers will miss the forest for the tree, miss the tree, the forest for the trees because they convinced they a seed. Mm -mm. The physical world is real. It's illusionary. It's not what it appears to be, but it is real. It is very real. It is very real, but it's not what it appears to be. And the way you get through that is getting through how you aren't what you appear to be. You have to start being honest with yourself. When you don't know, say, hey, I don't know. And don't just say, I don't know, so you don't have to be culpable for what you said. That's a cop out. When you say, I don't know, you have to look at everything you think you believe and say that so that you can begin to scrutinize it. That's what Descartes did. He went through everything he thought he knew. He went through everything he thought he knew and tried to deny it. He found he tried to find every way he could to deny what he knew. And the only thing he had left was, I think, therefore I am. I'm not telling you that's the answer. I'm telling you that's what he did. I'm telling you that's what he did. He died never reconciling his own ideas. Most people in philosophy of mind disregard Descartes. They disregard dualism. But dualism is an important step to finding the answer to the thing. Because you have to go through that scrutiny. You have to go through that deep scrutiny of what you think you believe. Otherwise, you're not really going to know. You're just going to feel good about the next thing. And you could have done that with Jesus. You could have felt good with Jesus. Well, I didn't feel good with Jesus because I didn't think that was real. Okay, so what you think is real now? Crystals and sage? What you think is the, what, what is the special spooky atoms in the crystal and sage? You think that's what, what's doing it? You think that's what the thing is? You're going to say I am, but then tell me it's sage that's real. It's a means to an end. It's a means to an end. I'm not going to tell you you can't do wonderful, amazing things with sage, but it's not the sage that's doing it. What is you? What is you? And don't just think of that as a, as a question. I give I give the answer. Like I'm not the I'm not the fucking uh, good witch of the north, and I'm sitting here not telling you about the shoes. What is you? Uh, but anybody, look, niggas will just listen to this and not even think to look up the word what. Who and where are forms of the word what? Hmm. <laughs> mm. You need to know the distinction between physical and non-physical if you are going to do effective spiritual work. If you're going to have effective methodologies, you need a concise and, um, what's the word? Refined, I would say. Refined ontology and epistemology. Ontology says what is. Epistemology says how do we know. And how do these things that we say are relate? You need an ontology and epistemology to form appropriate methodology. Otherwise, what you're talking about isn't metaphysics. Period. Motherfuckers will, will, will all day call themselves metaphysicians. But what they're talking about is not metaphysics. It is convoluted affirmation. 
What's your take on the difference between type and kind? Hmm. Uh, um, I'd say it like this. Um, kind. Kind is going to give you a category and type would give you um, the different stratifications of that category. Like a dog is a kind of animal, but you can have a type of dog. Or you, I guess you could, you could even, honestly, you could even probably flip it around the other way. Um, it's a point of contention. It's something we can debate. But, you know, everybody's above debating now, so we, we'll, we'll never know, right? <laughs> but if you ask me, I would say, I would say kind is like category and type is the stratifications within the category. But you can completely argue, I, I will not deny, you completely, you can completely argue the other side of that. You can say that type is the category and kind is the stratifications of the category. Perfect foundation for a debate. Perfect foundation for a debate. And what's going to come of the debate? Because motherfuckers will ask, what do you even get out of debate? Boo-hoo. What you get out of debate is, 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 is um, consistency. You can become concise with what it is you're saying. We can nail some things down. See, right now, this is why spirituality is untenable, because nobody wants to discuss things. Nobody wants to discuss and risk being wrong about what they're saying. All right, because look, motherfuckers will say spirit, soul, uh, interchangeably. I don't say them interchangeably. Not at all. Not at all. It's completely different densities of reality. I'll, I'll, I'll debate anybody on that. I'll, I'll go back and forth with anybody on that. And the only thing they're going to have from me is the fact that, oh, well, it's, it's just at the end of the day, it's just what everyone, whatever anybody chooses. Fuck out of here. If that's the case, then what's the point of even, even making the distinction? What's the point? And they'll say that because they have no framework behind what they're talking about. They have no framework behind what it is they're saying they believe. It's just blind faith again. You could have done that with Jesus. You could have done that with Jesus. Spirituality is, is, is a science. It's a science. And if you can't go back and forth with anyone, you need to shut up for a while. You need to shut up for a long time. See, motherfuckers will see me sitting here talking shit and think I, don't, I, I didn't take any time to shut the fuck up. I shut the fuck up for years. I shut the fuck up for years. I had a bunch of stupid, dumbass shit I was doing, thought it was the shit, hit the wall. I was like, oh, fuck. I don't know what the fuck this shit means. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. And shut the fuck up for years. It's necessary. Unless, of course, all you're going to do is pedal affirmation and motivation. Hey, guys, you can do it. Believe the light is you. Oh, that sound real good, right? The light is you. Oh, the light is me. I can finish my day at work at Amazon. Thank you. That ain't spirituality. You could have done that with Jesus. You could have done that with Jesus. Jesus loves you. And God is going to come and help. Don't worry. Just let God in and God's going to do it. <laughs> Fuck, man. Oh, shit. Yeah, I needed this, man. I needed, I needed to talk some shit. <sighs> yeah. The distinction between physical and non-physical. Okay? And if you don't understand, if it's still unclear, ask a question. Ask a question. I'm a metaphysician. I'm not the kind of person who's going to say, well, you can't ask me. You got to go, you got to go within to get it. That's what they used to say at church, right? You ask a nigga a question about God and Jesus, you're like, well, you just got to ask God. You got to pray about it. Let's stop. I used to hate that shit. I used to hate that shit. So, nigga, you up here on the stage, but you don't know? I'm a metaphysician. I do this shit. If you don't understand, ask a question. If you think you understand, ask two questions. Fuck out of here to make sure you understand. 
make sure you understand. Okay, what is it I understand and how do I know? What is it I understand and how do I know? And if you aren't sure on those things, you probably don't know. That's my spill. That's my spill for the evening. Oh, y'all have an amazing evening. Appreciate y'all fucking with me while I talk my shit. Oh, human is the lie. Don't forget it.